flying stresses me out the most because like of this safety speech. Next time you fly, pay attention to how no one pays attention to the safety speech, okay? If the plane goes down, we're all gonna die. No one gives a shit. The other option is death. We choose death every single time, okay? Because it's boring, it doesn't command your attention. No one wants to pay attention to that shit. Which is why I think every airline should hire the rapper Drake to do their safety speech. If you don't know who Drake is, Drake is a half black Canadian Jew who with those credentials has become the biggest rap star of all time. Let that sink in, okay? When I was growing up, in order to be a famous rapper, you either had to have killed somebody, been in a gang, gone to prison. This guy had a Canadian bar mitzvah. Everyone was like, that's good enough. <laughs> that's how good Drake is. And Drake says the cheesiest, corniest shit, but no one cares, because Drake said it. That's right, one of his songs, he quotes the Wizard of Oz, and no one even noticed. Yeah, in a song called 305 to my city, at the end he goes, oh Lord, we're not in Kansas anymore. I was like, is that fucking Dorothy? <laughs> and he had hood dudes being like, man, that boy Drizzy's spitting that shit. <laughs> Cause you can't, Drake, when Drake performs, it's like, it's mesmerizing. You can't help but stare at him. Looks like he's gonna do like a, like a fucking magic show or something. He's always like, he's very like physical. He's always like, Always blinking his eyes and shit, scaring the fuck out of people. Like, <laughs> contorting his face. Drake always looks like he's about to yell, but he stops. He's always about to yell something, like he's gonna traumatize his kids. He was always like. <laughs> so if he did the safety speech, you pay attention to that shit. Imagine next time you get on a plane and you hear this. It'll only take a second. I need your attention. It's important and I swear you're gonna wanna listen. I'm sorry that they paused frozen. That wasn't my intention. But if the speech could save one life, it'd be worth the effort. Yeah, and there's no smoking on here whatsoever. And don't be nervous if it's bumpy, girl. That's just the weather. Pilot Sam is in control. There ain't nobody better. And if we feel in turbulence, we're feeling it together. But we can still have some fun. This is how to work a seatbelt if you've never done one. If you see the oxygen mask, stay calm and relax. Put it on yourself before you help a loved one, yeah. Don't be nervous if there's something we can help you with. But when you see that food cart, keep your elbows in. Yeah, keep your elbows in. Look, I'm about to meet up with Alexis. She's out in Texas. I'ma study her body like I'm studying these exits. What you're located on your left and right, I go by the name of Drizzy, baby. Enjoy the flight. <laughs> 